we do, um, I have a speech assignment, and I guess I'm going to show people how to make scars, because um, I'm really into special effects makeup, so on YouTube I can teach you, you know, how to make it look like you have a scar, or like a cut, like an open cut on your uh, hand, arms, neck, whatever, any part of your body. I'm not finished, I just started it right now, but... What you simply need is either some Elmer's, Elmer's glue or some Crayola washable glue stick. Um, I got this originally when it was a blue kind, but I kind of had it like open right here, like at the edge, so air could seep in, so it could turn white. Because when it's just blue, it doesn't look right because it'll start showing on the, the thing on your hand. So, what you're going to start off doing is covering it with the the base foundation makeup that you have and I had uh, Mary Kay I mean it's just like old makeup that I don't even use anymore I'm still gonna cover it some more because it looks like it needs some covering so, let's see this See? Yeah, I want to go to school for graphic design, but as a hobby, I want to study special effects makeup. You can't really see because my camera pretty much sucks, my web camera. Okay. Alright. So that's what it looks like. If it looks white on the camera, it's not really white. It's pretty much covered up. What the next thing I did was I got um an old brush, an old painting brush I had, and I made it. Um, I put super glue on it to make it real sharp and thin, and I kind of just put like a slit in the middle, and I kind of just like, like edged out the sides to make it look like there's a cut in there. Next, what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm gonna get my fluffy painting brush, and I have an eyeshadow palette. This one's uh, pretty old. I don't even know. It's my mom, so I just use like old makeup because I really don't have good supply. But I make it work. I'm gonna add some of this this purple I have right here around the edges to make it seem like it's already started bruising. I think it looks pretty cool already. <laughs> Alright, just add your bruising on it. I mean, don't go too crazy with it because then you know it's gonna look fake. So now it looks like a bruise. You see that? See? That looks pretty cool. My hair is all messed up. Alright. Next thing is, I am going to get my golden eyeshadow palette. I use very rarely. So I'm going to have like something gold on over this. You're going to want to put it at the ends of the cut. If you decide the cut to make it look like a yellow crust or something. Probably gonna look too glamorous, but I'll cover it up with the a dull yellow I have. So there's crust. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you want to get out more foundation. Not the Mary Kay, but it's um a cream foundation. This one's gonna help blend even more onto your cut, your fake cut. And now it's right. I was gonna do it. some more. Looks pretty cool so far. Okay. Alright. 
that's what it looks like. Alright, now you're gonna get that fluffy brush again, wipe it on towels. So what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to take off the excess eyeshadow I had beforehand. Now I have a red palette right here. I used to have a real bright red, but not anymore. Now you're gonna wanna put it inside the crease that you cut and open on the outside too. Be aware that the glue does probably come off, so just be careful. You have to be real light-handed with this kind of stuff, because it's not, you know, latex or anything. Some latex sticks, some doesn't. Okay. Looks pretty gross so far. Alright, now we're going to add some black with a thin brush again. The thin brush you use to slice it, and remove some black in there. I'm gonna make it look um, like it has some um, depth in it. People are pretty amazed because I did this last year. People call it the Chelsea grin, Chelsea smile. California smile, they call it um, Black Dahlia, right? But I did it last year and I was like a nurse that had a, a Chelsea smile. It was freaking creepy. It looked pretty cute, but. <laughs> Keep on adding black. Let me use this bigger part right now to add most of this black on there. See? We got our scar done. Let's see, it's time for the blood because no cut will look real without blood. Okay, since I very I have very little of fig blood right here. It's vampire blood from last year. This is what I used around my face. Um, but I wasn't a vampire. I was a Chelsea small victim. Um, I'm using some watercolor. Color paint? Yeah. Right here. I have no idea. I, just, I use it every now and then when I need to uh, do special effects makeup, but it's only for like little parts of the body, so it's not really you know, hazardous, as people would say. Okay, I got a straight brush. Alright, get a real, real straight brush. Inside your little tablet, your, I mean your little cap. It's a tablet. You wipe some off on this. Um, okay, you know what you use to um, for your laundry? Like those little things to freshen up your laundry. <laughs> um, you put it on, but like in separate little spots. Alright, you see how it comes out? I'm gonna put some more right here. Ah, wrong side. Like that. I'm gonna press it on because I don't have a sponge anymore. Sponge anymore to make it out of pattern. To now I'm just rolling it on. Now I'm peel it off. It gives that look like I have blood splattered on me. And all of this just comes off the top of my head. So that just recently came off the top of my head. So. Now I'm going to add some more, but this time I'm going to put it in between the cut.
Okay, just keep on adding some more red. And it will come out awesome. There he is. Looks pretty cool. Now that you got your heavy blood done, I'm going to add some liquid blood, the vampire blood I was showing you before. I'm going to add it on there. But inside the scar. Okay, now that you have your blood done, I mean, mine doesn't look all killer as it should be. When it dries, it'll look like real blood, I'm telling you. Okay, you can add some green, make it look like you're infected. Then you're gonna be done. I don't know. I'm not really good at tutorials and stuff, I'm just showing you what I see. Looked like I was falling in the grass or something. There you go. Alright, I am done. See this? You see it? I'm gonna see how it looks. I put a little bit of hair in there. I'm no, just kidding. It's like, um, I think some of the brush fabrics. Yeah, it's a brush or something. But. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so there's a tutorial on to make it look like you have a cut in your hand. Cool? Cute. Bye guys.